I'm going to tell you five things the judge is looking for in your Hunter Under Saddle class. Hi there everybody, my name is Laura Kellen May and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you'd like to improve your riding, win more ribbons at your next horse show, or generally like horse related things, then start right now and subscribe to this channel. Just click the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you don't miss a thing. A Hunter Under Saddle is the type of horse that you would probably think of in the olden days that a hunt master or field hunter, somebody who was doing field hunting, to go from one place to another and it should be comfortable, well-mannered, easy way of going, nice mover and also look nice and that is kind of the history of the Hunter Under Saddle. Saddle. Number one horse has to have a good performance and by good performance I mean it's going to have good gates. It's got to walk, it's got to trot, it's got to canter, and those things have to be clear and precise. If you're going around on the wrong lead, then you're not going to be placing at that horse show. Now everybody says that the winner has to be the best mover. And yeah, the winner does have to be the best mover. But if that best mover is going around on the wrong lead, then it's not going to be the winner. So the performance is the number one thing you have to show the judge. Performance is number one. Number two, the horse has to have good manners. By good manners, I mean no bucking, no running away, and certainly no rearing, no shying, and also no biting, no kicking. Those are the types of things that will really mark you down on the judge's card. If I'm, when I'm judging and I see a horse that's bucking, I just cross its number right out, put it on my do not call list. No, it, so the horse has to have good manners. Number three, quality. So the horse has to show quality. Doesn't really matter what type or what breed of horse you have or what color it is or that type of thing, but it has to be a good quality horse. Has to have good confirmation, good quality, so that it shines above the other horses. And number four, it's got to have good movement. And as I said in the number one, first thing, the best mover should win the class. And if you put number one, performance, number two, manners, number three, quality together, you're going to get a horse with good movement. Good movement means it's got to be solid, bold without running away, ground covering, solid horse that's going to take you from point A to point B. And if you remember the history, history is this used to be a hunt horse, a field hunter, so it has to have good substance, good quality, so it can take a rider from point A to point B. And then finally, the icing on the cake, Number five is the way of going. Is the horse generally in its overall appearance a nice horse? Does it have its ears up or just it pinning its ears not wanting to do the job? Or is it generally going forward going nicely in a calm relaxed manner? Or is the rider always having to dig it in its sides or pull it back? So it should be a nice soft round ride with the, ride, the horse's frame in a round frame the legs reaching out, reaching forward, showing a comfortable ride. Number one, got to be good performance. Number two, it has to have good manners. Number three, quality horse. Number four, good movement. And number five, nice way of going. So if you get those five things all in a nice package, you're going to be a winner in the under saddle class.